What is up everybody? This is Easy. Easy Street Gaming. Bring you another Brutal Age video. This was going to be the Elite Tournament update for 323, but we had to do a slight change of plans. The reason is what, what happened right after the tournament was over. The preliminary round has ended and we started hearing reports from different servers, two of them in particular, and they were attacked they basically they used what they did was they used a tool that, that we have available to us it's, it's a server migration so I decided to replace the, the tournament content and, uh, and and use this instead so just so everyone knows the following is my opinion that I hadn't talked to anyone from Brutal Age no employee no other person that's involved with them so uh, two servers gone in one day uh, may not be your server, may not be your friend's server, but what if it was your server or your friend's server? There were players between 300 and 400 million. They were rallied. They lost four or five years worth of work. Uh, this is not during a wartime event or during a civil war. This was people teleporting there and zeroing them in their sleep. So just think about this. This is your nice peaceful server. You're sitting at 400 million power. You feel pretty safe because you're in with your friends. And um, 400 million... It's probably about 3 million troops, which that takes about 45 seconds for an experienced team of probably about 10 players to zero you, about 45 seconds. It would be about between 5 and 10 rallies, all within about 3 or 4 seconds of each other. It's, it's devastating and it, and it happens, believe me. There is a name for what happened uh, to server 9 and 47. It's called Griefing. Uh, I've seen it on a lot of other games and here it's, I've seen it on servers that are dominated by one country, which we won't mention their name. Their goal is to disrupt the game for one or many players. Uh, this this right here, what happened in our game could have been tournament related. Uh, it's often associated with big spenders that feel underappreciated. Uh, normally the development team will determine if the case is player versus player or player versus game. If it's a player versus game, they'll normally ban the accounts or suspend them. If it's a player versus player, it's kind of tough, especially when um, in this case, there's no rules broken. Normally the development team will wait and see if the behavior affects their ability to prosper. And that's the bottom line. They, they'll, they'll let them go because they didn't break any rules as long as they don't disrupt the game enough to where they can't function and, and, and can continue making updates and continue the progress of the game. So other games, what have they done? So there's really three different ways that they can take care of this. Well, how other the games have? First, you can remove the problem altogether by getting rid of the server migration, which I don't think that's a good idea at all because it's a really big benefit. It just took a long time for them to, to get to this point. Uh, they could also impose a bounty on players that break this type of uh, guideline. It's not really a rule. They can impose a rule, but uh, if, if you teleport to another server and immediately start attacking it they can place a bounty on you and other players can come in and attack those players and get very big rewards and third they can assist in a vigilante type action and allow players to enact some kind of justice on them by allowing them to teleport immediately or, or giving them some kind of asset that makes it easier for them to do it instead of spending their money uh, that's what other games have done that have been effective but I'll say this uh, it doesn't go away altogether they'll find ways around this and this this particular case didn't break any rule. It just mind fucked everyone in the whole in the whole game. There was probably five thousand shields put up last night. And if you look at this look at this picture here, this is uh, our hive during war. You notice all the shields. If you don't want to play like this every single day, then this little event that happened with the two servers getting zeroed, that has to be dealt with. Or this is how everyone will play from now on. Unless you're in a really, really strong server. And there's a lot of servers out there that, that 10 or 15 players of around 200 million can really hurt you. And that's and I think that's what it was, 2 or 300 million. So sometimes we have to bring justice to the game from the players. How do we go about doing this? You fight fire with fire. And what does that really mean? Well, first, I'm not the one that's going to organize this. Anyone who's ever seen me fight will know why. But this means we need about 10 players, probably right around a billion power each, that's willing to leave the server at any given time. We get to the other server, band together, and wipe out whoever it is that's trying to destroy the peace in the game. And basically they'll be the heroes of Brutal Age. And we really need that at this point. Uh, last thing, I want to thank everyone that's in the testing and creation teams. You guys have really impressed me. Um, I've been really lucky to be able to work with a lot of you guys in, over the last few weeks, last few months. 
So just want to let them know, you know, I appreciate you. Everyone else, we'll figure out what's going to happen with this uh, server migration. I would like to say this though, I've been watching a lot of the chat rooms, whether it be online, whether it be on Discord. If you are one of the players that have been asked to help, let me help you help them. When they ask you to help, that doesn't mean they want you to complain the whole time about every last little thing you run into. That means they need to know what the problem is and what you think the solution should be. It's really important for you to bring a solution with the problem. If you just bring in problems, then you will not be noticed, I promise you. So try to bring a solution with, with the problems. I know there's problems, there's problems in every game. This is a fast, fast-paced game, so I, I, I get the problems. But try to bring solutions too. You guys are really smart. I've talked to a lot of you. So, so that's all for this video. I appreciate everyone for watching. Uh, a few of you have asked me about the number of videos I've been posting because that they're hardly on my channel, but I've been posting them on to Brutal Ages directly. So we still have, we're still out there. Don't worry. I appreciate everyone for watching, supporting the channel. Till next time, it's been easy. Take care, everybody.